Recent rainy, rainy weather may have put a damper on some local trick-or-treat nights, but it had no effect on a unique Halloween party that was held at Coca-Cola Park. Last night, organizers from the Lehigh Valley Iron Pig Charities and Sweet Owners hosting a night of fun for close to 200 children. That included candy activities and, as Leah Kosi reports, a few scares. For one night only, the sweets at Coca-Cola Park were decked out in orange and black with hosts who dressed up for the occasion. And as children went from room to room trick-or-treating, some hesitated in fright, while others laughed in pure enjoyment. There's this man, and he was dressed as a woman. Was it pretty funny? Yeah, I was laughing at him. He looked like a, a pretty woman? No. He had a mustache. Which sweet did you like the best? The one with the, wait, the one by the hippie, that was funny. What was funny about it? The hippie was wearing a, like a peace sign. He was pretty funny? Talk about the blue guy. Not funnier than a man dressed up like a woman. The private event was hosted by the Iron Pigs Charities for more than 150 less privileged children from the Lehigh Valley. From organizations like the Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Sacred Heart Hospital Pediatric Unit, Pediatric Cancer Foundation of the Lehigh Valley, and Children's Home of Easton. During their visit on the club level, these kids not only received Iron Pigs t-shirts, lunch boxes, and loads of other goodies, they also painted pumpkins, decorated cookies, and hung out with Ferris and Fifi. I think this is phenomenal. You know, it's kind of dreary outside, and people are missing the Phillies game tonight. What a great place to come. You know, I think everybody here has been phenomenal. Everybody's bags are they're overwhelmed. I mean, it's just, just, just great, and I think that this is great that the organization is doing this, and uh, on behalf of the Boys and Girls Club, we just think it's phenomenal. To make this Halloween trick-or-treat night memorable, it took a total team effort as Iron Pig Charity organizers and sweet owners lived up to the kids' expectations, bringing a lot of creativity to go along with a lot of candy. Have you already peeked in your bag to see what you got? Yeah, I ate some candy. You did? What was your favorite? Um, nerds. What else? Um, Twix and the Sprite soda. Do you get more than you thought you would get here? Yeah. I got a lot of candy. Oh my God, like three bags. Three bags full? Yeah. Are you going to share? Mm, probably not. <laughs> Just to see uh, smiles on the kids' faces when they, when they get the candy or you see them decorate a pumpkin, uh, it's, it's very rewarding for us uh, as far as being able to help these kids, maybe for a day, be able to forget some of the problems that they encounter day to day. And even for the parents, too, to have a chance to do something that maybe even the parents don't have that experience to do with their kids together. Um, it's a neat, warm feeling. Since its inception last November, the Iron Pigs Charities has donated more than $100,000 to the Lehigh Valley community. And looking ahead to next year, organizers already have plans on expanding this trick-or-treating night. Next year we want to double the number of kids, the number of opportunities for kids, and eventually have a, a public, open to the public event, where we can have hay rides on the concourse and, and uh, pumpkin carving contests and whatnot. So it's nice, the ballpark can be used year-round, and this is one more event that we do year-round uh, that we can benefit kids of all ages, including myself. At Coca-Cola Park in Allentown, Leah Kosi, Two Sports.